Mm-hmm. Hello, my name is Sean, editor at ScurryMonkey.com. Uh, we are doing a brand new segment today. We're calling it the Screwy News Network, SNN, um, where we basically look at some of the screwier news stories that have happened recently. Joining yes. me today, <laughs> joining me today is uh, Scotty Scott. Hello. Uh, one of our favorite contributors here at Screwy Monkey. How and today, been? co-anchor. Yeah, and co-anchor. Co-anchor. I'm doing great today. How are you today, sir? I am fabulous, thank you. That's awesome. Good. (laughs) Um, We have some extraordinarily screwy things to talk about today. We really do. Check this out. In North Wales, okay, (laughs) North Wales, which is near I can uh, can configure somewhere in the UK, okay? I I went to public school, as we all know. (laughs) Okay. North Wales, the police department there, Mm -hmm. threw a benefit for local farmers. Okay. Okay. Uh, this benefit featured a farm style breakfast. All right. Okay. Um, sausage, bacon, tons of eggs, toast, butter, uh, more meat, some beans. I don't know. It's a UK thing, right? Beans. All right. Okay. Okay. Mm, um, vegetables? No, no vegetables. Oh, okay. no, uh, funny you should say that. Vegetables. Right, no, mm, yeah, okay. no, no. Um, but it sounds pretty yummy, right? It sounds great. I mean, no, no, no big problems, right? I, sounds like a good old hearty American breakfast to me. There was drama. What happened? So all of the vegans and the vegetarians in the town ganged up on the police and told them they were horrible and despicable human beings because they served all these animal products. Like they literally mean tweeted them horrible, horrible things. Crazy. I know. I mean, it's, so I mean, good. Why are they why are they why are they judging them so hard though? Well, like it appears that they wanted them to serve vegetables or meat <laughs> or vegetable based uh things as opposed to meat. So that brings me to a question. Okay. Which is? So your question. So do vegetarians and vegans have a right to get pissed when the rest of us eat meat? Don't take the bacon out of my hand and I won't take the broccoli out of yours. Wow. That's my take on it. That's incredibly deep. <laughs> So, so enriching. Right. I mean, I don't necessarily try to force my viewpoints on people. No. No. Exactly. I mean, like, you, you can't do that, right? <clears throat> do you, you know? I mean... What makes you happy? Right. Exactly. Um, and, and I wouldn't necessarily, like, tweet about, like, the serving of meat, I guess. Even... I was a vegetarian, actually, for two years. I don't know if anyone knows that. Um, and I definitely didn't get pissed at people um, if they ordered a steak and we went out for dinner. I mean, I just don't see the point. Because it was your choice to not consume meat. You can't push that on other people. Exactly. My main issue, other than the fact that these people were being judgy, was the fact that this breakfast kind of looked kind of gross. <laughs> if I can be honest. Uh, it did look a little gross. It looked though. a little gross. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you think that if the meat looked more appetizing, less vegans would be pissed off? I feel like if it just, yeah, like they needed a little color and then maybe nobody would have said anything, but it was all brown. Like <laughs> it's just a big brown breakfast and it so, was just not good. So maybe a little parsley and paprika on the eggs or something? <laughs> a little, there's a little show, you know, a little finesse. <laughs> Uh, a little spinach in the egg, a little something different. So what do you think? Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Uh, do vegans have a right to get pissed off when other people eat meat? For those who didn't know that our headquarters is in Las Vegas, Nevada, I wanted to bring to you a local news story. So uh, currently at Fiddlesticks at the Gold Spike, they are serving a unicorn grilled cheese. How do you feel about that? So this sandwich is made with five different types of cheeses and they use food coloring to dye the different cheeses and then they use sprinkles on the top of it. Like, come on, how exciting is that? Well, sprinkles on the top. Sounds so good. I can't. Why? I can't with this. I love unicorn. No, I mean, like, is it, was it not enough? Okay. That this past year from Starbucks, we were subjected to the unicorn frappuccino. I'll give you... Okay, okay, that one was a little gross. Uh, it tasted... It was <laughs> disgusting. I mean, it, I heard it described as unicorn vomit, and I am pretty sure unicorn vomit tastes better than that did. Okay. Then we had the Christmas tree frappuccino. 
right? Which was just a monster. Star Wars and, just ruined things right. for us. They had but, a mermaid one too. Did you miss that one? I missed that one. Okay, the mermaid one. It was like blue and green. It was, it was beautiful. But what now, with this? but like, now we're we're dying cheese. Okay, and I mean, look at look at the picture of that thing. Look at the picture of that thing. Like, that thing is is disgusting. It's got sprinkles. It looks, it looks good. They have sprinkles on a freaking grilled cheese sandwich. Are they? I hope they're not sweet like sprinkles. I'm sure they're sweet they're sprinkles. <laughs> so, okay, that's kind of gross. But I would try it. Freaking donut sprinkles. So you're not gonna try it? I might. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try it. But but it's another it's another segment for you. But okay. Can, can, what, can we just explore, explore this for just one minute, though? Right, let's, let's talk about it. Okay, so what what is the cultural phenomenon with first of all the unicorn thing right now, um, and and second of all, what why does everything have to like be unicorn corn color? I mean, it's kind of helpful to the gay community. I mean, when you love to see like you know a big dude from Texas who like works on a ranch eating a unicorn grilled cheese sandwich you know no like, no no <laughs> i can't say awesome. i would you, you had me right up until the unicorn sandwich so the unicorn sandwich yeah uh. no i'm pretty much over this um <laughs> please don't i mean I'm, i know we will but please don't I it's, just a, think that... it's a yes from me uh. see okay <laughs> would they even make this thing though because okay for those of you who don't live in las vegas like the Gold Spike is located in downtown, right off of Fremont Street, and it literally is like the biggest hangout for Zappos employees. Okay, I mean, their, their the, headquarters is right around the, the corner. The Millennial Chill Spot, right. like that's where we go. They're Millennial Yuppies. Okay, I mean that's like that's an oxymoron. Why do I gotta be yuppies though? Because they're because they're upperly mobile millennials. <laughs> that is true. I mean, but I mean I don't even know. Who enjoy call their it. grilled cheeses in a variety of Wait, colors. rainbow colors. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this though, it has gouda, and gouda is absolutely my favorite kind of cheese. It's a really good cheese. So maybe I don't know. So they're like high price, you know. Maybe it'd be cool if they did them in different colors. Maybe like you know, like a blue one, a blue gouda cheese. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead yeah. of mixing all of the colors. Um, Fiddle, you know my... fiddlesticks, put that one, write that one down. Right. You know what my favorite cheese is? What's your favorite cheese? Port wine cheese ball. <laughs> That's really good. You should get one. That's another story. Scotty, you know what time it is? What time is it, Sean? It is time for the obligatory weed story of the week. Oh, yes. Yeah, it is that time. See, every successful YouTube video has to have at least one weed story, and this is ours this week. So, um, recreational marijuana is legal in Los Angeles now. That's really exciting, actually. Uh, it kind of is. Um, kind of. But, of course, <laughs> <laughs> of course, Las Vegas beat them to it, I will say. Yes. Um, the city of Los Angeles could definitely use the revenue. Uh, that is true. Absolutely. Uh, however, it seems that the Trump administration, they're trying to put the kibosh on legalized weed. They might be cracking down on it soon and forcing the federal mandate that says that it's still illegal. Wait, didn't he say in his campaign that he would leave things up to the states to decide that kind of stuff? Well, apparently mm. states' rights don't apply if it is against your conservative uh, agenda. Mm. Um, yeah. Anyway, but this got me thinking. Yes. Okay. Um, one, first of all, no. But second of all... <laughs> no. No. <laughs> but third of all... Yeah. Um, <laughs> but here's the thing. Like... In Colorado, there is this uh, church. Yes. Okay, it is, I guess it opened April or something like that, um, 20th, <laughs> somehow. Um, and it is the Universal Church of Cannabis or International Church of Cannabis or something like that. I'm a member. Oh, are, are you? <laughs> I can tell you that. Wow. <laughs> what are the meetings like? Oh. Mellow? Very mellow. <laughs> Chill. 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 Chill meetings? A lot of, a lot of, a lot of brownies. Wow. Yeah, I like chocolate. <laughs> um, oh, brownie. <laughs> uh, anyways, so I was thinking, you know how like Los Angeles has all these incredibly, incredibly quirky religions? Yeah. I mean, it is like, you know. Pastafarians. Exactly. Uh, Scientologists. <laughs> uh, just throwing that out there. Um, all those bizarre religions. So um, how long do you think it is before this church of cannabis comes to Los Angeles? I feel like they're probably already there being hosted in somebody's basement. Like, I feel like it's already there. Like, uh, it's just, you know. Woody Harrelson, Matthew McConaughey, 
Oh yeah, they're Snoop all Snoop Dogg. You know, uh, what's the what's the old singer with the little braids? The, I feel like there's been the so country, many. the little oh, country. Guy, Willie Nelson. Willie, Willie, Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Nelson is like the leader. <laughs> like, and he clearly works as a religion because uh, he's like 174, right? And like, he's yeah. kicking. Exactly. No, he's the we the we church Jesus. Yeah, exactly. There's like pictures of like Bob Marley on the uh, walls, and it it. Head I'm pastor. going. Head pastor of Snoop Dogg. I love it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Snoop is the deacon. Mar- Martha Stewart heads up the choir. Oh, I feel it. But she doesn't partake. And you know they do those like dinners and stuff. Right, it's right, all right, Martha. Right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> wow. So, um, so are you joining? I respectfully decline to comment. <sighs> He'll be there. <laughs> all right, Sean. For this next story, you yep. may want to take a sip, and I just we're just gonna take a sip. So, there's coffee in my copy. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is tea. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, an artist by the name of Maggie West has created a sex doll for millennials. She says that uh, she created the doll as you know a piece of art to show how millennials today are seen as either being sex craze or not having sex at all. So, um, what do you think about this topic? What do you think about sex dolls in general? Are you going to really make me think about millennials having sex? I mean, I feel like you already think about millennials having sex. <laughs> you don't have to lie. That's, not, that's so not true. <laughs> um, oh, okay. So sex doll. So, I mean, I think I'm confused. Do you actually get to have sex with the doll? I mean, not this doll. <laughs> not Lucy, <laughs> which is the doll's Lucy. name. You don't get to have sex with Lucy because she's a piece of art. Does she have a last name like Lovelace? Ooh. No, it's I like, like Linda. That. Okay, anyway. Lucy, Lucy. <laughs> Lucy Lovelace, yeah. Lucy Lovelace. We'll have her on the show eventually. Um, Our next. Segment. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. Hold on. Okay. The doll can also send you back Instagram and Facebook messages if you ever like message her. Oh my god, so I can, like, sext with a robot. It's amazing. Wow. So what does she take pictures of, though? <laughs> I mean, circuit board? Flowers. <laughs> <laughs> like, you... Cats. Like, you, you, you text, like, a, a... um. What am I searching for? You text, like, a, you know, picture? Yeah. Uh, of yourself? <laughs> of yourself? <laughs> of yourself? <laughs> And uh, what does she, like, text you back? Like a V-shaped circuit board? <laughs> I feel like she gives, like, Siri answers. Like, like I'm like, not looking for a partner at this time. Like, you know, she totally turns you down. She texts you back pictures of, like, you know, transistors. <laughs> Can you find my transistor? Ooh. Ooh. My motherboard. <laughs> it's overloading. <laughs> uh, do we have a picture of her? Do we know what she looks like? Oh, she's she's a beaut. She's a beaut. She's a beaut. We got a picture for you. So, um, <laughs> so there's a lot of like sexual uh, technology being developed these days, and um, I heard a rumor actually that, and this comes back to here in Las Vegas. Everything interesting is happening in Las Vegas this week. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, there is a chain of clubs. Right? Okay. Gentlemen's clubs here. All right. Uh, in Las Vegas called Sapphire Gentlemen's Clubs. They are huge. And apparently they are debuting for the Consumer Electronics Show this year for CES, a robotic pole dancing stripper. Oh, okay. Um, which uh, <laughs> I, I can't imagine what train wreck that's going to look like, but that's going to be interesting. Um, per- perfect for your home. You right. Know, just, you know, just a little stripper in the corner, you know, you know. Do you have to tip her? <laughs> what, do you, what do you tip her? Yeah, exactly. Code. code. She wants code. She wants code. <laughs> Bitcoin. Bitcoin <laughs> and code and Ripple. <laughs> but um, so okay, here's the thing. Uh, would you ever use a sex robot? No. Why? I mean, I'm pretty old fashioned when it comes down to it. You know. You know. I got my good old righty. Uh huh. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> Lefty and me are friends too. It's just the she comes over less often. Oh god. One of them's a she? Yeah, one of them is a she. Oh my god. Something um, you didn't know. Yeah, exactly. Um okay, so 
I'm not sure I want to know anymore, but I think I would probably use one. Honestly, probably me too. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a sad world. I mean, sometimes, you know, you just need a little, little loving. You know, no shame. Absolutely. Just don't bring the sex doll out for parties or anything. Hello, this is Lucy. Don't introduce her to your family. Keep her away. I don't want to see her. I don't want to smell her. Mom, dad. <laughs> We're getting married. We're getting married. Right. I feel like that's coming. That's, exactly. the, that's the only thing is like, it started as just a little, you know, a little area. And it just, it expanded. It's getting out of hand. I think I'm, I think I'm going to investigate this more though. Do we have a website for Lucy? Um, you, you can, can find tell me later. You can tell me later. It's okay. <laughs> so, Scotty. Yeah. Have you ever seen the movie Idiocracy? I have not seen that movie. Okay, so in a nutshell, basically, there's like this government experiment, right? Mm -hmm. And this guy gets kind of like put to sleep or something like that. Okay. Okay, and then the experiment goes awry and he doesn't get woken up at the end of it and gets thrown out or something like that and wakes up like years and years and years, like 50 or 60 or I don't know how many years in the future, 100 years. I don't know. Okay. Way in the future, okay? Uh, not that 50 years is way in the future. But anyway, gets <laughs> yes. he wakes up way in the future. And uh, basically because all of the really dumb, attractive people have been inbreeding and inbreeding and breeding more dumb, attractive people, right, like sure. society has basically declined into chaos, okay? Okay. Okay. And basically in this movie, there's like two things. Like every single store is at Costco. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like there is no other store but Costco. Costco. And Starbucks, there's not a lot of Starbucks stock on this thing. Starbucks has <laughs> uh, basically devolved into a brothel. Okay. Oh my those God. Are like two things. All you right. should really check out the movie. It is I incredibly, incredibly good. I'm going to okay. write that one down. But I think it's coming true. Okay, why why would you say that? Uh, because recently, uh, this past week, a couple in Sydney, Australia, mm -hmm. got married at a Costco. Oh my god! Not only did they get married at a Costco, <laughs> yeah, they held the reception at a Costco. <laughs> All of their guests dined on Costco pizzas. <laughs> There's no word as to whether or not there were samples. <laughs> I'm guessing. I'm I'm, sh I'm sure samples samples of rice or something. So, yeah, the little mini pizzas. And get this, usually when things like this happen, it's because the couple like met there. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't even meet there. They just like Costco. <laughs> I I don't understand this story. I I mean, I get being frugal and I get wanting to you know not waste a bunch of money, but why why Costco? Like, I, I don't mean, I don't understand. Everything's there already. True. There's you right. could literally buy anything at Costco. Can't buy a sex have, robot. You could. I'm aisle thirteen. <laughs> I seen them, but you have to buy them in bulk. <laughs> it's a three pack. <laughs> um, so, I think this kind of brings me to another question too. Like, what is up with the decline of marriages in this country? I mean, it's not so much a decline. I mean, not, not marriage, but like marriage culture. <sighs> you know what? I am, well, I guess I'm technically not a millennial, but I'm right on the edge there. Yeah, and too. we just don't have money. So, hey, I'm all for it. Okay, just you not at Costco. Okay, you know what, though? I don't know if it's about that. It probably. You, know, you know why? Why? Because there's another item on our list today, and I'm going to go ahead and jump into it. All right, what, what, okay. what's that? So, um, recently, there was a bridal fashion show. Okay. Oh, okay. And designers like Vera Wang and what, Wang, by the way, can we just talk Vera about Wang. that? Wang for Wang. like a uh, bridal designer. Any designer? I love Wang. Um, yeah, so do I. I love Wang too. Sometimes multiple times a day, but that doesn't mean I don't. Back to your anyway, story. Anyway, so <laughs> uh, so there is uh, this thing that. They did, you know, fashion show, blah, 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 fast forward. And basically, there were some really interesting bridal fashions that were debuted. Were they, what was so different about these fashions than, you know, the norm? Uh, I would say half of it was missing. Oh. Like, basically, if you take a look at these pictures, which uh, we're going to put up right now, these were some of the dresses that were uh, debuted. And um, as you can pretty much see, every single one of the dresses would be, I don't know, stripper wear. <laughs> and all right okay and i mean it, it, this is the question okay like if you are not done being a whore by the time that you are married right okay and you feel the need to put every one of your assets on display should you really be getting married 
I mean, there's that like whole look but don't touch thing. It's like, I can show it off. Don't mean you can touch it. You know, like we've been dealing with that in the in the news a lot. A lot of people touching a lot of things they don't need to be touching. Yeah. That, and so, I mean, hey, if you want to show it off, flaunt it. But I mean, I that's, mean that's true. But but I'm conservative when it comes to that kind of stuff. Like, I think like if you're you going to put goods on display, though, eventually someone's going to want to buy it. And I mean, um, let's face it, eventually you're going to give in. I know. I mean, I'm I mean, all about the floor length. Being covered up, you right. know, looking elegant and beautiful. But hey, you want to walk down in a two-piece wedding dress combo? Power to you. Wow. On a related note, I tried to make it in Hollywood forever, and I was never once sexually harassed. And it was I... because you weren't wearing a two-piece. That's why. Oh, uh, this is dangerous territory. Next. <laughs> <laughs> good for your glasses sorry uh, so scotty yes remember our breakfast story that oh was yeah about vegans oh yes okay so that happened in the uk right yes all right all right so how do you think the vegans would feel if they serve some liver i feel like they'd be even more upset like liver liver on liver which nobody is, wants liver no like, well apparently somebody does <laughs> Um, or at least they want to brand the liver. Uh, so check it out. Also from the UK. Oh. I don't know what's up with the UK this week, but um, there is this surgeon. His mm -hmm. name is Simon Bramhall, uh, as I said, from the UK. And he was doing something quite um, disturbing and interesting. What was what was he doing? And obviously it has something to do with livers. So right, what yeah, was yeah. he doing with livers? So he was... <laughs> You're so good at this. <laughs> um, Detective. Yeah, exactly. So apparently he was a transplant surgeon, mm -hmm. like he was transplanting livers, but before he had put them in the patients and sew them up, he was actually branding his initials on the livers. <laughs> like, I don't right. even know what to say about that, honestly, but um, that is pretty, pretty damn gross and pretty damn disgusting. Pretty disgusting. Right. Um, and apparently <clears throat> he was actually found guilty of this and, well, pled guilty, actually, to assault. <laughs> Assault um, on livers. Assault on livers. <laughs> My grandmother used to cook liver. I think it was almost always an assault on liver. Liver and yeah. onions. Uh, it's so just gross. delish. Um, but, so, I guess my question then on this one is, like, what what constitutes assault? I mean, is that assault, first of all? <laughs> I mean, they did... Okay. Was the... The liver would have had to be inside of the person for it to be assault. Because if it was still not inside of them... Technically, it was not their liver yet, right? That's and brilliant, then, actually. Yeah, I, I think maybe maybe it's an assault on a liver, but not an assault on the person. How can there be... Uh, I'm, I'm very confused. Okay. I mean, it is gross, but at the same time... Okay, he's like an artist, you know? He's like putting this thing in. He's making it work. Right, you know signing what? his signing He's his masterpiece. signing his initials, you know? Like... Come on, what's a Picasso without the little signature on the bottom? I, mean, I get that. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of an egomaniac occasionally, or at least I've been accused of being one. I could kind of see if I was a surgeon maybe doing this. I, you would do it. <laughs> you are an egomaniac. Hello, my name is Sean, editor at Scream. No, just kidding. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I don't have anything else to say. I mean, it's just, it's just freaking bizarre. I mean, it's just bizarre that somebody would, like, you know, brand livers before they and, put them in. And then, wait, wait, wait. How did they find out that he was branding livers? That's uh, my question. Good question, actually. <laughs> I mean, did like, they have to, like, re-transplant? I don't know. Yeah, like, do you... What do you do? Right. The surgeon's, like, opening them up. Like, what the hell is that? What is, is that? Wait, SB? S <laughs> the trademarks on livers now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give you guys a story, you know, for the, for the young crew out there, you know. Yeah, sh Sean loves this, you know. Like, this is his favorite. Um, so there's been a new trend that more plus size models have been coming in to the scene. Uh, models like Ashley Graham and uh, the newest one for Vogue was uh, Jordan Woods. And uh, is Jordan Woods a guy? No, Jordan Woods is a is a girl. Damn. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> and yeah, so she's been on Vogue. So what do you think about this new trend that we're getting more curvy girls? You know in the scene, you know, and, and seeing different types of beautiful. Well, I think, you know, beauty comes in all different shapes and sizes. And True. I think it should all be celebrated. Um, I think that goes no matter whether you're a girl or a guy or whatever. I think everyone is innately attractive in their own way. Girl, guy, something in between. You Most know, part, we're all yeah, beautiful. Exactly. Um, so I'm all for it. I, I wonder, though, like, what impact it's actually going to have on fashion sales. 
Right. But I mean, come on, there's the, the most of the United States is overweight. So I mean, like, this has to make it go up, right? You know, like more fitting clothes for the everyday woman, for the everyday man, you know? Yeah, but the point of most advertising is to make you feel miserable. So you go out and spend money to make yourself feel better. Right. So if you are comparing yourself to someone who looks like you, you're not likely to feel miserable. But the thing is, is that they might be plus size, but these women are still fine. You know what I mean? Like, got that shape going on, you know? I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> Now, would you feel the same way, way though, if they had, like, uh, models on the runway that look more like... Mm, Me? Us? <laughs> more like us? I'm, I, I like the idea because, you know, sometimes, like, you see clothes and you see them on someone who isn't your body size and you're like, that looks great. And then you put it on and you look like a can of busted biscuits. Yeah, but that's... <laughs> but like, you but you know what? The, no, like no. But the good part about that is this, okay? Is that yeah, you get to see those clothes on that model that it, they look really, really good. And right. then when you put them on, then in your head, you that's the way you look. But you don't look like but that. Do. But you don't like, you look like the Pillsbury Doughboy. And I, it happens to me all the time, and it's very upsetting. Like, okay, I am wearing the most incredible pair of underwear right now. Okay. <laughs> And that dude on that box, I'm not gonna say what brand they are, but that dude on that box, freaking hot, right? right? So I'm pretty sure right now, if I strip down to my clothes, I'm gonna look exactly like him because I'm wearing those underwear. I, I mean, you know what? More power to you. If, you. if that's how you feel inside, I need this man's confidence. Like, I'm trying to feel like that. You know, like, I wear my thong every day, but you know, it doesn't mean that I look like the boy on the box. You wear a thong? <laughs> anyway, that's one way to floss. <laughs> uh, so, um, I have a question for you. Do you know who Kylie Jenner is? Well, I've lived under a rock forever. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe you didn't know who she was. All right. So this next, she's like a Kardashian, right? Yes. Okay. Adjacent, because she's a Jenner, so she's not a Kardashian. It's like Beverly but... Hills adjacent. Yes, exactly. I used to be Beverly Hills adjacent. God. Anyway. Any, anyways, so her lip kit company that launched, um, I believe, at the end of 2016. Mm -hmm. Guess how much they made last year? Just, just, just take a guess. Uh, ten million. Ten. On the first day. <laughs> All right. Last year, her company was reported to have made four hundred and twenty million dollars in its first year. Um. Mm -hmm. And she's set to reach a billion dollars. Wait, 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 wait. How much? Four hundred and twenty million dollars. I cannot say what I want to say right now. Go ahead. And in the next five years, it will reach a billion dollar a year company. Um, billion. A billion. With a and, B. With a B. And uh, she's the ripe old age of 19. So um, other companies have taken so long to reach this level. Um, Lancome, it took them 80 years. Uh, Bobby Brown, it took them 25. So, uh, what do you think about this story? What do you think about Kylie Jenner and her lip kits? Kylie Jenner cosmetics. How do you feel? Uh, well, first of all, I mean, I was gonna say this belongs in the, they should be irrelevant, but they're not file, but apparently that's a lot of money, so maybe she's relevant. Maybe she's a little irrelevant. Why? Okay, this is what I have to say, why? It's, it's the lips, man. It's the lips, Sean. Like, come on. It's but it's all... not like duck lips, right? It's not like, mm, right? No, no, yeah. it's a, it's a, like, mm, it's mm. like, it's Melania adjacent. Like, mm? it's just a little mm -hmm. wider, you know, like a, I, my mouth doesn't open that wide. <laughs> I've heard different. Um, anyways, yeah, so I, I, I really think like, this is incredible, you know what I mean? Like, she's 19 and she's uh, working her way up. I can't really deal with the story right now. I just can't, because I'm right. well, at least double Well, I'm proud of you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's enough of that. Okay. okay. All right. Um, so that, that pretty much does it for this edition of the Screwy News Network. I am, yeah. Can we get less tea in my coffee or less coffee in my coffee next time? Um, so that, as I said, does it for the <laughs> Screwy News Network. Uh, I am Sean, editor at ScrewyMonkey.com. 
And I am Scotty Scott, a contributor here at ScreenMonkey.com and the best looking one. Not what my Instagram says. Ooh. Ooh. He's saucy. There you go. Saucy. <laughs> saucy. Yeah. That's, Got the sauce. That's what he said. Um, anyways. anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you go ahead and wrap up this video. Anyways, please remember to like, comment, and share our video. Uh, and remember to subscribe to our channel, please. Uh, also like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, you know, swipe left on us, swipe right, whatever you gotta do. Wh whatever, whatever Like it takes, us, please. all right? Uh, ScrewyMonkey.com, <laughs> all the resources for everything, sources, all that good stuff for this. Uh, edition of screen news network would be there um check it out lots of really good stuff coming soon right yeah it's gonna be, yeah it's gonna be great it's gonna be a great year and thank you for joining us once again as we celebrate human culture one, one screwy, screwy monkey, monkey at, at a time, time.